Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Skywind 007. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at this. This is the Ultra Pro Universal Remote. It says it can control up to four devices. It has a designer finish. I seriously doubt that. And um, it's for all major brands. It can control, um, it can eject the DVD, Blu-ray, um, open and close. And what makes this remote special and different than the other ones is that it has a decimal point right there. Um, it doesn't say so anywhere here, but that decimal point, that's um, if you want to look at channel, let's say 45.1. So most remotes don't have uh, that decimal point. This is a review and a um, how-to, how to program it. Okay, so this is it right here. It's very lightweight, very thin, except for the battery part. Okay, so now it's time to program our TV. There are two ways to program your TV. One is using the auto code search, and the other one is using the code by code input. So if you're going to use the auto code search, you're going to need this right here. This is the list, which comes included with the um, packaging. If you do not have this, don't worry, I'm going to post the codes on this video later on. So let's start with um, auto code search. To do that, the first thing you want to do is press and hold the setup button over here. Let me zoom in. So the first thing you're going to do is press and hold this button right here, the setup. When that happens, when you do that, the light, this um, light right here is going to glow and it's going to stay glowing. Once that happens, you're going to press the device button you want. In my case, it's going to be TV. Once that happens, um, you're going to press the power button again once, and this is going to start blinking. And that's going to send 10 codes to your TV. So you're going to keep doing that until your TV reacts. Once your TV reacts, you know that one of those 10 codes was the right code. So now you have to find out which of those 10 codes was the right code. So to do that, you're going to press the um, volume up key. And it's going to be sending one code at a time. And you're going to keep pressing it until your TV reacts. Once your TV reacts, you want to finalize this process by pressing the TV um, button again. The TV or whatever device button you were programming, you're going to press that again. And it's going to be set up. Okay, so let's look at that auto code search once again. And this time I'm going to actually be pressing the buttons. So you press the setup key. And you're going to notice that the, um, the power button lights up. The next thing you want to do is press the button you want to program. For me, it's going to be TV. And it's going to flash once. So now you're going to aim it at your TV. Hopefully, your TV is connected to the wall. And then you're going to press the power button. And you're going to notice it flash. It's sending 10 codes to your TV. If it reacts, where you... The next thing you want to do is find out which code it is. But if it doesn't react, you want to send another 10 codes. So let's send another 10 codes. And let's pretend that it didn't react. So let's send another 10 codes. And now let's pretend that it did react. So once it, it does react, you're going to uh, press the volume up key. And it's going to be sending one code at a time. And let's pretend it reacts right now. So once it reacts, you want to finalize the process by pressing the same button you were programming. In my case, it's TV. And that finalizes the process. So now you have your TV and remote paired up. So the next step we're going to look at is going to an actual TV and see how it works in real life. So let's go. 
Okay, so here we are in front of my TV. Um, I know you can't see it because it's dark in here, but I left the lights off so you can see the blinking lights. So here's my remote. Again, so here's my remote. I opened the windows, um, the curtains. And the first thing you want to do for the auto code search is press and hold the setup key. Press and hold. <coughs> and as you can see, the power button light lit up. So now you want to uh, select a button. I'm going to select TV because this is a TV. So you press that. And then you're going to aim it at your TV and press the power button. And it's going to send 10 codes. So let's do that. So that didn't work. Let's send, an, let's send another 10 codes. Oh, it did work. It turned on. So now that it's on, we want to find out which of those 10 codes is the right code. So let's press the volume up and see if it'll react. So no, it did not. Let's press volume up. 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 Did not. Let's do that again. It did not. Let's press volume up. I know I sound like I'm crazy, but I want you to know what I'm doing. Let's keep pressing volume up. Volume up again. There we go. It turned off. So once it turned off, it means that you're at the right code. So you want to finalize this process. So press the TV button again or whatever button you initially pressed. For my case, it's TV. And it's done. <coughs> so I am very impressed at this TV um, remote, universal remote. This is by far the easiest remote to program. So let's test the TV and see if it's actually working. Power it up. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. It turned on. So let's see if everything is working. Volume is working. That's the menu. So you can enter the menu. Okay, folks, so we are back. And if that wasn't easy enough, the programming with code is actually easier. There's only a few steps to program this remote to your TV or whatever device. With the code, of course, you have to have the code with you. And um, here are the steps. Step one, press and hold the setup key. When you do that, this is going to light up. Step two, press the device button that you want to program, for example, TV. Step three, Enter the code. Once you press the last key of that code, it's set up. For example, let's pretend that my uh, TV code is 1234. So I'm going to press and hold setup. This is going to light up. I'm going to press TV and then I'm going to press 1234 and that's it. It's programmed. So it's basically just three steps. Press and hold the setup key, device button, and code. So let's look at that again. Let me turn off the lights. So you press and hold the setup key. And you'll see that the uh, power button lights up. Now you select the device button you want to set up. For example, TV. And then once you do that, you enter a code. Let me just randomly enter any code and you'll see it flash twice and it's set up let's go to the TV and let's do a real-life test okay so here we are in front of the TV I have deliberately put the wrong code in here so that we can put the right one in and um, I was looking at the code list for RCA this is an RCA TV right here and I did get lucky that um, the code for that TV is the very first one on the list 
which is 0, 1, 3, 1. So let's set that up. You press and hold the setup key right here until the power button lights up and then you select a device button. I'll select TV and then I just click 0, 1, 3, 1, 0, 1, 3, 1. And now that the remote is set up, so it's just a matter of testing it. So you don't have to finalize it anyway. It just automatically finalizes once you press that last um, number of that four digit code. So let's test it and it turns on. I know it doesn't make a sound immediately, but it, it is turning on. So here we go. And let's see if all the functions actually work. Remember, this is just a TV. The actual streaming device, that's a separate thing. So let's, um, let's see input. Let's select, um, H, we have HDMI 4321 component AV and TV. You have to aim it correctly though. So, um, that worked perfectly. It's very simple to use. So let's go back and let's, um, talk a little bit more about this. Okay, so one of the amazing things about this remote is that this is the only remote that I've tested on my channel that can actually um, code program a TV, a vintage TV. This is a CRT, cathode ray tube TV. And um, this is the only one that can actually program, <clears throat> program code this TV. All the other ones cannot program it because this TV is so old. So um, I looked at the codes for Quasar because this is a Quasar TV. I know you can't see it, but it is a Quasar TV. I have no idea what the model is. I bought this in 1999 and there was a list of codes for Quasar and it was actually the last code on the list. So the code is 5201. So we just came back from the other RCA TV and we have the RCA TV code in here. So let's uh, do the Quasar, which is 5201. So you press and hold the setup key. That lights up. Press TV. And now just type 5201. 5201. And now it's programmed. So let's test it. And it works. It's amazing. This is the only remote that can do this. And that should be the Roku, the Roku, what you're seeing here. But um, some of the functions are slightly off. Like, for example, if you go to menu, let's go to menu right there. And the original remote, um, you would be able to use the arrows. So on this one, you can't use the arrows. You have to use the volume. If you want to switch around, you have to use volume down and channel down. And then you can move around. And if you want to make a selection, you just press menu and you can enter that um, sub menu. And if you want to get out, you just press the um, the exit right here. And that that sends you out. So that's pretty amazing. So again, there was a long list for Quasar. There was a long list of codes. I was kind of getting um, disappointed at the very end because I couldn't get this to work and it just happens to be the very last code on the list so if you're programming your TV whatever kind of TV is don't give up because all the codes are not working because it could be that last code on the list okay folks so I do have some more good news as we already saw that this remote can control this TV right here this is my 1999 CRT TV it's vintage and um as we saw, it could control this. So right there, it's turning on. Takes a while. But what's really amazing is that it also can control the VCR. So I do have this old Sony VCR. So I set it up on uh, the where it says cable right there. And let me power it on. Look there. And it's on. pretty amazing it is hard to believe
Okay, so we have reached the end of this review. And as we've seen today, this little remote control that is doesn't look even that great is actually the best universal remote that I've reviewed in this channel because it can control both modern devices and old devices and especially how easy it is to set up. It is the easiest remote to set up. So if you're looking for something that's easy to set up and that can control modern devices or even those vintage devices that we saw today, this is definitely it. It's very lightweight and um, it only uses two batteries, although most of them just use two batteries, AAA. It's very cheap, less than 10 bucks, and it has a dot. And I know, I know that sounds funny, but it does have that decimal point. If you want to look at channel, for example, channel 35.2, you just type 35.2. And that's really, really good. So overall, I'm very happy with it. it it's it looks kind of bad this is not it's ugly it's ugly but it's amazing so i do recommend this 100 percent. like i said um, i got this for free but i do not work for the company i wish i did i wish i worked for ge general electric um i don't work for them so it doesn't really matter if you buy it or not i do not have affiliated links so i'm not going to be getting anything out of this i'm just being honest with you i get absolutely nothing from them other than uh, the fact that i got this for free and it's an amazing product it is the best product that i've have reviewed or even owned so far it is missing one thing i do want to mention that it is missing one thing and it does not have a um, remote to remote learning which uh, most of the other ones do this one does not so but I don't think you need it because it can program anything any remote as long as you know the model and you have those codes which I am gonna show so before we go let's um let's post let's look at those codes okay so here we go we're gonna start with TV This is the last section right here. As you can see, I covered the DVD codes because I don't want you to confuse the TV codes with the DVD codes. But I will be showing you those DVD codes on the next section. And like I said, this is the last part of the TV. And we're going to move now to the DVD section. Okay, so this is the DVD section. Feel free to pause if you need to.
This is DVD continued. And here's the last section of DVD. I am covering the other section so that you don't get confused. As you can see, some of these some of these names are kind of funny if you look at them. Techwood, Terrapin, Tevion, Toshiba. Wait, that's just Toshiba. Tradex, Westinghouse, Warfdale, Xenius, Yamakawa, Sears. Okay, so this is the last part of DVD. Okay, now we're doing Blu-ray player. That's it. Now we're doing streaming media player. Mika. Patriot. QNAP. And here's the last part. Streaming media player. Okay, so now let's move on to soundbar. Okay, let's move to cable satellite. This is cable satellite continued. And that's the last portion of cable satellite. Digital converter box. Okay, so this is a digital converter box continued. And this is HDTV set top boxes. And my camera doesn't focus. Okay, this is TV DVD combo. This is the first section of that category. 
Here is TV DVD combo continued. And my camera doesn't want to focus. Okay, this is TV VCR combo. This is the first part. This is TV VCR continued. This is TV VCR DVD combo. This is DVD VCR combo. This is DVD VCR combo continued. This is VCR. This is VCR continued. This is home theater system. Home theater system continued. This is just audio. This is just audio. Audio continued. And here are the last categories. Home Automation, Media Center PC, Game, and HDMI Switch.